Hi, hello, and welcome to my Patriarch Ozen run. This is uh, actually the umpteenth run. It was supposed to be my 16th perfect run in the Arena of Myth challenge, and well, I almost got it the last time. I actually even made a video of it, and then everything just went away. So instead of doing a totally Venom themed Ozen deck that I copied from the from our form anyway, I was going for Brutal Power. So this is my Ozen Brutal Power deck. I uh, will find pretty much everything in there that works in blood. <laughs> and a few things uh, that don't work in blood but work against Warbot, which I have already put behind me. So I'm sure there's going to be a few interesting encounters left, but hopefully it's not going to be a troubling one. Mimeobot is a nice addition, it's actually a weak one. Uh, its sole purpose is to be an early bot that gives me, well, basically artifact versions of some of the more powerful cards I have. Um, in order to stand against Warboard and it actually worked. So I had a artifact Vampire King and the Warboard couldn't get rid of that and that finally was the cause of its demise. I'll take it. Okay, we're playing for time a little bit here. No reason to take that Mimeobot out into the offense that will come later. Let's see if he gets the electrolyte. Nope, it's that one. Of course I won't block that. Ooh. Oh, lucky me. Ooh, I hate war machinist. Okay, let's get something out here. At least a semblance of a chance. Well, I'm going to need a lot of defense in this one. Goodbye, Mirabar. Ooh, he's offering the war machinist. I'll take that one out. a king and let's see whether he has whether he has a Life drain will help. Let's see, we could have a leeching barrage. Survive on the other hand, I've got a lot of little life drain. Support of Kadok. It's neither troop nor action, so I don't get anything out of it. Oh, is that for cheating? Sort of. Oh, isn't there a 
requirement to put another artifact or dwarf into your deck? That's cheating. And another Drew's Colossal Walker. Yeah, Arachnophobia doesn't really help. Seaweed Behemoth. Doesn't look like a moth. <laughs> I'm so funny sometimes. Aging Barrow and great cards, but where are my shards? I rather have a few shards, so I gotta hit with this one. Seaweed bin does not tend to be a quick one. Stall my monsoon. The only one I've got in the deck. Always my favorite card to hate on the other side. Spiders yet, Tarantulas. Okay, this is going to be tough. Yeah, figured. I need to block that one. Okay, now I need some. I desperately need yes something like that. <laughs> Give me a fighting chance. No, not more charge hogs. They suck. Fortunately, we have the monsoon coming up, so I can actually throw my tail into the line of fire and get some life drained hit points out of it. Yes, please resolve.
Okay, we stopped the onslaught. That's good news. for all those exarchs. It's going to be interesting once we get more shards. Because the Eternal Sage fits very well. Bury the top five cards of each opposing champion's deck. That works very well with control. And of course... Stuffing the Vampire King on Odin's special ability is pretty good. And there we go, Spiraling. What's more important is Tarantula. I'll get on the little Invictal Copter. So, the skies belong to me now. Got two lethal truths, that should be a big enough deterrent. Oh, he's actually keeping the Stormcloth? No. It's still bugged. There hasn't been an update in the AI for ages. And... First, and then the blood shard. Let's see what happens. Do we get a terror runcula egg? Yes, we do. Wonderful. Who to take? Who to take? Dangerous beast. That's pretty boring. Reactor bot. Let's go for the stable. That's big and ugly. Another one. Another one. Yes. And so let's go. by this one so they stay on defense. We've got to move it slowly. like we got everything under control. Okay, he's throwing storm clouds at us. Now I'm frightened. Yes. Ooh. Oh no, he killed a spiderling.
Mario Sensei. I would like to have a fourth shard to get that vampire again. If not, arachnophobia will do as well. Yeah, that minion doesn't scare me. Okay. So we'll go, vampire king. More troops for my army. Okay, the enemy offensive is successfully halted. Good news. Sacrificing that leeching burrow earlier, so any future ones come out 4-4, four, four, and then things start to get interesting usually. That's always a good life drain. Obviously I got both equipment for the leeching burrows, both equipment for the fertile engorgers, one for Monsoon, even though I'm only playing one, but that was just open in the slot. And the Arachnophobia, which helps me thin out the opponent. Every bunch, everything else is pretty much vanilla, but the power of those cards is good enough on its own. Okay, we don't need that Arachnophobia anymore, so let's go to the Troll Sage. And then, just go over their head.
Going down. Eldritch Dreamer. We've got enough flyers. That shouldn't be a problem. Of course, Fertile and Gorger is pretty much worthless right now. But Leeching Burrow is okay. We'll keep that. bitten me in the ass. But of course it always has the potential to. more buccaneers and stuff to give to my hand. I wager that yes he is going to. So I'm going to give him a few more targets. I need flying troops. Should have done that maybe the first time as well. Okay, Leeching Burrow is going to attack anyway. It's going to, won't go, do much but it gives me a hit point. And unless I actually stop the attack, I'm going to need every single one of them. Okay, we're not going to go through here. And a second Thunderbird. Not good. Not good. to get our own air force off the ground. Let's kill blades. <laughs> Gotta keep the vampire princess on defense. Which means I'm pretty much stalled out at this point. Use a storm call. Ah, 
it looks like I've got it stalled out for now. for that. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That is simply wonderful. Makes my other ones better. to get rid of that storm colossus somehow. That's a nuisance. I didn't pack any extinctions. No monsoon is an answer. Let's see what our dear Yurnas can get me. Buccaneer, really, that's all they've got. Stormcall, my own Thunderbird. Ancestors Chosen. Create Spectres. They need a blue sapphire shard, so that's probably not a good idea. And that means only got the buccaneer, that's pretty boring. Huh, not much to go with. So I'll take the Thunderbird. the one with the four one. Okay, that should stop me for now.
afraid we'll lose the Vampire King. We'll let that go through. That's got a crush on me. That is unfortunate. Oh, that's unblockable. Wonderful. Totally. 12 get through. 8 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be 16. That's not good. That's not good at all. So we get one killed. This one indeed is unblockable. We still need the sage to do something. We still need the vampire king for the next time. rid of the Colossus, but it goes into the hand. Sucks. This sucks majorly. So it's actually not really worth blocking. alive and take the vampire king on the second so at least he at least gets the life drain we want Uranus next time to get the buccaneer to get rid of the colossus or something like that Bird has to go. Okay, I'm taking five off here. Zone. That's good, I guess.
there we lose. Sucky, but true. Why does he... map weird? You believe in second chances? Still alive, sort of. Stone Colossus does not attack. We're actually good. Just need something to attack. With. That's nice. Doesn't really help against the Storm Colossus. That spell shield is a real nuisance. We've got so many troops that are unblockable and they are all zero attack. That is a shame. If he attacks, that's more security. in there now. And we win. <laughs> Eternal Sage for the win. I don't believe it. That is funny. That is really funny. Ooh, that was a scare. Uh, it was only won by a mistake by the AI. Interesting. 
Whew. That was something. Well, for King Gabriel, that one has been known to thwart me several times. That can be a very, very tough deck. If you are not quick enough. Fertile Engorger, that works. Murder is pretty good as well. So let's try this. for two Palamedes. damage before that dog comes out. So, full card. Of course it's not a dog, I know. Kraken guard sea priest, that is bad. I don't want that. Of course there's worse. Of my lethal it doesn't really matter. Spiraling, one vampire princess. Cards. It's flooded. Very much flooded. And there comes the dog. Yep, he's immune by virtue. 
picture of Boldhard, who has to attack and run into my kill base. Which is probably the best exchange I can wish for. Goodbye, Boldhard. Defeating ways. Still looking good. Still only shot. Only shot. Successfully. Yahoo! Arux. Okay. Another perfect run done. Let's make a screenshot. And that's it. Goodbye.